little secret about me. About a decade ago, I used to work for a little restaurant in Tampa, Florida that just started called Bonefish Grill. And I may have taken some recipes with me. I'm gonna share them with you as long as you promise me to do two things. One, keep this on the down low, and two, please hit the like button right now to help me out with the YouTube algorithm because this is the big one. If you've ever eaten at Bonefish, you have certainly had their signature appetizer, which is crispy, crunchy fried shrimp tossed in a creamy, spicy sauce. And even if you've never eaten there, chances are you've had this before because there's been dozens and dozens of copycats ever since then. But this is no copycat. This is the real deal recipe. This is bang bang shrimp. To make bang bang shrimp, we will of course need some mayonnaise, as well as a neutral oil like vegetable oil for frying, some cornstarch, the famous sriracha sauce, as well as Thai sweet chili sauce, some buttermilk, and a half a pound of peeled and deveined small to medium shrimp. I'm gonna put all the ingredients here as well as the description, so let's get started. To start, we are gonna make our bang bang sauce, and the base of any great sauce, of course, is mayonnaise. So to a mixing bowl, we're gonna add half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of our Thai sweet chili sauce, which you can find in any major grocery store these days. And for sriracha, I like to start by adding just a tablespoon. Over the years, I've found that it's really easy to add more heat, but it's pretty hard to take heat away. So start light and you can always add more. Give it a good mix. Check the level, see how it works on your palate. For me, I needed to add about another tablespoon and a half. And if you wanna be true to the bang bang sauce, it should be on the spicier level of what your palate can handle. So give it a good mix. I like to check for salt. This is gonna be the only flavoring our shrimp gets, so I added two big pinches of salt. You want it to be really well seasoned. And there you have the bang bang sauce, which also goes really well on pretty much anything from pizza, sandwiches, any fried food. Enjoy. Place your favorite saucepan or frying vessel on the stove over medium heat, and to it, add enough vegetable oil to come about an inch to an inch and a half up the side of the pan. And while that's heating up, we are gonna marinate our shrimp in buttermilk. So take your shrimp, add it to the buttermilk mixture, every single piece. This doesn't need a whole lot of time to soak, it's really just gonna give the cornstarch something to stick to. Give it a good toss, make sure everything is evenly coated. And in a separate bowl, we are gonna very carefully add your cornstarch, but very carefully. Carefully, okay. Season it up with salt. Give it a good mix and make sure the salt is evenly incorporated. Then once your oil is up to temperature, we're gonna drain all of the excess buttermilk off of our shrimp, toss them in the cornstarch mixture, making sure every single surface is perfectly covered, shaking off any extra cornstarch. The easiest way to do this is to use the basket from your salad spinner. Give it a good little toss. Just make sure to clean that before you make salad next time. When you are good and ready to fry, go ahead and very carefully add your shrimp to the hot oil making sure not to overcrowd the pot. And then throughout the cooking process, you also wanna make sure to stir this, otherwise you will have one big clump of shrimp and no one wants to eat clumpy shrimp. After about one to two minutes, you will have perfectly cooked golden brown shrimp. And if you're doing this in multiple batches like I am, feel free to let these drain on a paper towel. The cornstarch will stay crispy for a long time, so you don't have to worry about that. And then once your shrimp is all cooked, we're gonna use the same mixing bowl from earlier, add a couple tablespoons of our bang bang sauce, throw all of our shrimp in, and then like a pro, give it a little back and forth toss and try to get as much height as possible. That way you can show off to all your friends that are watching. Then when you are ready, take a little bit of spring mix lettuce into a ramekin, just like they do in the restaurant. And then the key is to stack this as high as possible for the most dramatic effect. That is what they taught us at the restaurant. So go ahead and stack it super high, add some green onions to finish it off, and you have the perfect bang bang shrimp. the real deal bang bang shrimp this is the way to go this is spot on identical to what they serve in the restaurant and it only costs this much if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing are you peeing right now yes what the I'm Jim with Doesn't Pay Full Price, and I just wanna thank every single one of you that watches my videos and supports my channel. If you made it this far, please do me a solid and hit the like button, it helps out a whole lot. And consider subscribing, you get a ton of good food content, and it's completely free. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Doesn't Pay Full Price, and I will see you next time.